Okay, so you've made your decision. Is your score going to be for performance purposes or is it for study purposes? Now, why is this so critical and the step after? Let me show you. So what I just played is the beginning of episode one from the hypnosis movement of Hub is on the Way. Okay. And so we have this kind of scene music. Right. And it, at first we would might think it's a melody, but very quickly it just becomes part of the background. But you'll notice that that takes up both hands. So if I'm writing for one sole person, one sole pianist, then I'm going to have to make a very important decision. If you'll notice in measure 11, the melody comes in. Let me play the melody just by itself. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I'm by myself, is as follows. I need to practice a little bit. But the point is, I had to take something out. Okay, let me play it again. This is very, very important. Uh, it's going to form the backbone of what we're going to be doing, is what to take out. You're going to have to constantly take things out. Even if you have the luxury of two pianos, you're always going to have to take something out at some point. Okay. Well, what I did is I, once the new melody entered, I needed that for my right hand, right? Usually the melody goes in the right hand. Not always, but usually. So I couldn't play the other lick. But I kept the bass. So what was the important decision I made? Well, I had to keep the harmony, okay? So no matter what, whether or not you're, you're using one piano or two pianos, okay? You have to always keep the harmony In other words, you have to keep the bass. Okay, you have to keep the harmony as a whole, but specifically, you definitely have to keep the bass. Okay, and even if you have to change, like, it gets dicey when you have to change the rhythm even, but certainly the fundamental note here is the do dies. This is the underlying harmony. Do, fa, la. Okay, I would not have been able to do the following. Uh, I mean, I can't even play it that way. It's, it's, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so the very, very important thing you're going to have to do is to always keep the harmony. You got to keep the bass and you got to keep the melody. This kind of what seemed like a melody at first... You know, you have to let it go. And you'll just have to hope that the listener can kind of hear it somewhere in the back of their head. What I might do is as follows.
it's it's too, it's too complicated for, for me at my level. But what you might do is periodically when there's a rest in the melody, you might bring back that little bit counter melody for a couple of seconds, but that gets real complicated. 